yesterday I started putting a video together and I ran into a little problem. The coil went bad in the contactor. So today I gotta have to change it out. What I'm gonna do is I'll do the a video of changing this thing out. So this coil right here will end up going right down in through here. We'll be able to take this whole thing apart and I'm not going to do it all step by step in, in this particular video but what I want to do is I want to be able to hook this up, explain it to you and then we'll get this motor running. So this is just a real short video today just to let you know what's coming down the pike. I'm working on it. I've done um, over an hour or maybe even two hours of videotaping right now and uh, I'll go ahead and get it put together but you'll know um, what this is, the contacts, what this part is, how the coil comes apart, um, you know, in a, a brief video showing you the different pieces and parts. In the meantime, I had the opportunity of uh, going out to uh, this place today and this to me is uh, just like heaven, man. I love walking through here and seeing all this stuff and be able to uh, kind of pick and choose through some of it and show you guys how a lot of it works and uh, what the differences are between the contactors and different types of equipment. Because right now, as you can see, I've got a furnace contactor. I have a small cutler hammer contactor. Furnace is also Siemens now. And then I have another Siemens contactor with a set of overloads in it. All these have unique uh, setups as far as normally closed, normally opened sets of contacts. And this one I hooked up yesterday to the motor. I'll show you a quick clip of that. This is a Telma Kanik, I guess. And it is uh, completely self-contained. It has a couple normally open, normally closed on it. It's coil is down here. The ability to go through this yard with all this equipment in it is I'll be able to take different contactors and I can take them apart, show you how uh, to change out the overloads in them. So like this one here, this electronic overload, and then this one here has thermal overloads in it, it's more of a mechanical, and then there's different types, like this one is electronic. So there's a lot to explain in all this, and this is going to be my project for the next few days, and uh, hopefully you guys will be able to learn something out of it, and um, really want to help you out here if I can. So uh, thanks for watching, have a great day.